Presenting uh, Silwood's Yarrawonga at the Silwood's Resort. Uh, first, I just want to acknowledge and pay my respects to the Mother Walla people of the Yorta Yorta country on which the project stands. Uh, so this project just to encompass the, the key drivers of this, that building community, a very diverse range of people are expected to use this and um, it's really as a facility for locals, visitors and residents of the development. It's about embracing the elements and being in the landscape, being outside, allowing the environment in while providing appropriate protection from an often quite harsh climate. And it's about building more with less. So it's a four and a half star uh, Siebel branded hotel, so quite high quality aspirations, but the budget didn't necessarily match this, which also created a few challenges, but um, the results come up pretty well. So three hours approximately from Melbourne, um, in between Shepparton and Albury Wodonga, um, so clearly regional. Yarrawonga, historically a very small town on the Murray River in the 1930s, was dammed, created Lake Mawala, became a real lifestyle destination, so very popular with water sports, fishing and the like. Um, that, that's the main draw card for, for tourists. Um, and golf, um, there's a, a long history of a significant golf in, in the region. So to get to the point, so the point is our site. About five k's drive from the town centre of Yarrawonga itself, um, and about four kilometres to walk along the foreshore. Uh, so the, the, we created a foreshore walk, and part of the project was extending that foreshore to connect the site, and that'll continue around the rest of the lake. On the border with New South Wales, you can see the the remnant um, pathway of the Murray River before the lake was created. So that explains the, the wiggly line there. So the site itself um, was formerly historically um, agricultural land, not really any remnant landscape from, from pre-colonisation here, completely laser levelled. So the, the overall precinct is the Civil War's master plan. Our site is the point at the end, so it really is the culmination of the community focus for this master plan. So there's a housing lot development that weaves its way around the Blackpool Golf Course. Uh, it contains a mix of different uh, housing types, including some, um, some townhouse style, some seniors living, uh, and, and the point, obviously, that with it, which was the earmarked for resort. So the golf course sort of began the journey of um, regeneration of the site, so turning it from agricultural land into, this is the beginnings of it, um, much more verdant, lots of water uh, through the site. Our site itself, this is the, the point, um, heavily eroded, um, damaged, that the land was literally getting washed away into the lake, so that the, the um, the tidal boundary sort of comes through here, so the land is disappearing, um, well in need of some, um, some, some love. Very unique site, but for water on three sides to the, the north, the west, and sort of the southwest, and then we've got the golf course views back to the, the south, so um, outlook was amazing. A few of the key numbers. $30 million cost, GFA about 5,500 square metres, finished in 2020 in the midst of lockdown, which created its own challenges. But once it opened, um, it's been a, a roaring success. Design pillars, we'll run through these. So creating, uh, working with a re resilient rural vernacular. So trying to create a simple, um, appropriate building language which draws on the, the site and the context, uh, the distinctive rural charm. The client also owns this this, um, this significant shearing property, uh, sheep property, called Tuple Station to the northwest of the site, and that really sort of drew us to reinterpreting that, that rural sort of time. Caring for people and country, um, really important here. Looking at um, leaving the band, land better than we found it. So turning what was a, a really road landscape into something verdant and bring nature back to the site. All the water is run off, uh, run off is fed through the filtration ponds right throughout the, the golf course and fed back into the lake um, in a pristine clean state. Caring for people, oh, the obvious, you know, we've got spa treatment rooms here, but the constant connection to the outdoors, so always being able to have that outlook and enabling people to be immersed in the outdoors and obviously you've got the local produce here on the table here that, that really grounds it with the, the place. The materiality, I was looking at um, both the master plan using materials that were relatable and domestic, um, uh, appropriate for domestic scale, so the housing around the site uses, uses um, bricks and timber as well, but using honest 
and, and robust materials. Red gum is a very undervalued Tasmanian Australian hardwood. Um, we've used that for claddings and battens and internal linings and joinery throughout the building. So taking something, a material that's completely unvalued, normally used for fence posts and firewood, and really making it a feature of something that, that really grounds this in the site and makes it feel authentic. The roof form, um, creating a, a simple, iconic um, building which is recognisable. So a level of restraint, but then articulating that to adapt to the orientation and the program of the building. Um, extensive areas of shade and shelter. So I've got over 2,000 square metres of covered outdoor space on this project, um, which really enables that, that outdoor living and also gives that environmental and sustainability protection, reducing energy on the building for air conditioning. 214 kilowatt solar array, so extensive solar panels. And then on the flip side of that, conserving energy. So hotel rooms where you can actually open the windows and turn on ceiling fans and turn off the air conditioner. There's not many hotels I know of that can do that at this quality. Uh, the expression of program. So this is the, the site plan. The buildings are really pushed out to the edge to take full advantage of, of the views and the site. Um, references to rural homestead with a collection of buildings which are connected with walkways and covered walkways. We kept this car parking off of the, the best part of the site. So it was really important to prioritise pedestrianisation and allow for alternative modes of transport. So you can park a boat on the boardwalk. Golf buggies, most of the residents of the Silverwoods um, are golf players and they have their own golf buggy. So they can drive the golf buggy to the site rather than getting in their car. We created a village green. So this, the buildings are sort of wrapped around this space, which really organises the circulation and it's got a level of permeability, so the gaps between the buildings are where the joy is, creating these access points to get out to the lake with views, and also bring the breezes in, so it allows one minute. One minute. Um, so the public realm, this really is a, a community, community access accessible place. Um, it's a destination for people to come and access the waterfront, so the creation of this boardwalk is part of the project. Um, really allows people to come and use the waterfront, go fishing, park their boats and the like. The landscaping is completely integrated, so the golf course architects were used for, for the resort as well, so that gives a seamless connection back to the golf course. Uh, and then the, the, the edges of this were treated to try and um, bring back the, um, the native planting. Quickly around the building, we've got the public part of the, the project. We've got our arrival sequence, we've got the lounge spaces and our food and beverage offerings with the bar and the bistro and the deck. This is where people come together. This is the, sort of the, the community part of it. Uh, and I don't know what's Finish your sentence. <laughs> uh, functions, events, pool, spa, wellness, and the accommodation itself. So uh, 63 rooms, there's another 53 to come in stage two of the development. Uh, and the golf pro shop with the first part of the project, which. Uh